right, common use. How to erase codes and uh, read codes on your uh, OBD. So most of these OBD machines work almost the same. So as you can see, I have a check engine light on. Okay, check engine light. So we're gonna go ahead and connect your OBD. Look for your OBD thing and connect your machine, right? So look for the OBD thing. Usually your OBD is always gonna be down here, somewhere over there, over here. So mine's right here. You connect that there, okay? Your machine's gonna load up, all right, loading. So I'm gonna guide you through this. You have OBD, ready test, DCT. So none of that, we're not sure, gonna show you how that works, but we're gonna show you how to erase the codes, read the codes, okay? So it's really easy. I'll guide you through this. This is how I do it. So if you just bought one of these and you're trying to figure out how to use it, this is how you use it, all right? So it's loading, it's linking to the vehicle right now, okay? It's waiting for the vehicle to respond. I said I have a check engine light, all right? Check engine light. Um, see. By the way, this is an Acura 2003 Type S, right? V6, all right. So codes, it found seven codes, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and erase the previous data from the, the test before. So put yes. And then we're gonna go to read codes. Now, Sometimes you have, okay, so anyways, so seven codes right here, cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, cylinder four, cylinder five, cylinder six, and a random uh, multiple cylinder misfire. Now sometimes a uh, misfire can be caused by several things. A misfire could either be caused by a bad spark plug, bad coil pack, bad fuel injector, low compression, leaking gasket, and um, and uh, that's what I know so far, you know? So that's, that's, that's the, that might be a, a cause of a misfire. So, so anyways, sometimes when it throws out a code here and you're not really sure, the first thing you wanna do is get that number down, P0301, Get your phone, put it, go to Google, enter that code down, and then you would put P0301 code four, and then you put the year, or you put the model of your car and the year. So like let's say for instance, uh, a core 2012. So you would put zero P0301 a core 2012, and you would put it on the Google search, and it, and there's a lot of forms right there and and stuff that tells you, okay, or you can also go on here okay now these are pending codes down here where, you, where the codes are at these are pending so so right there there would be codes that are actually not throwing but it's pending them so escape this and then I'm gonna show you how to erase the code so you so you go back okay erase codes erase trouble codes yes yes boom and check the engine light turned off Erasing codes, erase done. Don't don't uh, unplug it, nothing. Wait until it's done, okay? Now, sometimes the machine will have the um the co the thing to check the codes in here. You would go back, exit, yes. And you would look up the code right here. So you go to um to look up the code, you go to DTC lookup. Sometimes like I said, you might not have this on your machine. So you um, go online and you'll put the code, you know, whatever the code is, you know, okay, bam. So sometimes it's, a, it's a manufacturer specific. So when it, when it does say that manufacturer specific, you would look for your car here. This is Acura, so it's the same as Honda. If you guys don't have it, if you guys don't have Acura on here, you know, it's the same as Honda. P30301, refer to service vehicle. Okay, so you go online and you put this and you put the date of your car. Okay. And that's how you use a OBD scanner machine. Um, when it's, when, the, when um, you erase the light, 
when you erase the the code for the uh, for your car, it resets the whole computer and everything. So um, so yeah, that's um that's it. Let me know uh, if you want me to make more videos of what or anything you guys need help. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Thank you.